Hey what's up, finally we are starting the review of Elephant E10 smartphone. We have made announcement of this phone in community on our channel Tech Brothers, and some of you were interested in this device. By the way, we often share news about our channel in community. You can ask questions, discuss new products and much more in community section. As you can see, we also have some new devices, such as Fimi Palm, Pocket Gimbal Camera, Oakland X Pro Electric Toothbrush and others. The videos about them will be in coming days. So let's go back to 11E10. This is the first video with unboxing and first look. In total, we have 5 videos about this phone, such as unboxing, performance test, camera test, battery test, and a final video with pros and cons. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers not to miss new videos. Ok, let's start with unboxing. So, the smartphone comes in this box. You can read about main features if you don't know anything about this phone. For example, 48 megapixels quad camera, 6.5 inch HD plus display, NFC. On the back, there is full specifications list. Inside the box, you will find the smartphone, silicon protective case, user manual, screen protector, USB Type-C cable and 10 watts power adapter. Now let's talk about design of Elephant E10. As you can see, I have a black smartphone. This color is called Aurora Black. Elephant E10 is also available in Aurora Blue with combination of blue and green colors. It looks very interesting. The rear panel is made of plastic. We can see quad camera and flashlight in the top left corner. There is no fingerprint reader, because it is located on the right side. The fingerprint reader is also a power button. This is a volume rocker. The slot for dual SIM at microSD is located on the left side. At the top, there is only microphone hull. The second microphone hull is at the bottom. Also, there is USB Type-C port and speaker. The smartphone is really convenient to hold in one hand. The dimensions are 163 by 77 by 8.5 mm. The weight is 194 grams. I forgot to tell you the price of this phone. Only $120. I think Elephant E10 looks very nice for this price. Talking about display, it has a diagonal of 6.5 inches. The resolution is HD+, 720 by 1560 pixels. As you can see, there is a water drop notch above the screen and a small chin at the bottom. You know, the viewing angles are really nice, while the colors are saturated. The brightness is also ok, so you can use the phone outdoors. Despite only HD plus resolution, the screen is quite good. As I already said, Elephant E10 is a budget smartphone, so it is powered by entry-level chipset MediaTek MT6762D. It has another name of Helio P22. In coming days, we will publish a video with detailed performance test of this phone. But right now, I want to show you N2 the benchmark. As you can see, Elephant E10 has 98,000 points in N2. The smartphone also has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal memory. You can use microSD memory card to expand the storage. Please check the description under this video. Perhaps we have already made performance test, and you can watch all benchmarks and games on this phone. Camera is one of the main features of this budget fan. Elephant E10 has quad main camera with 48 megapixels main sensor, 13 megapixels wide angle lens, 5 megapixels bokeh sensor, and 2 megapixels macro sensor. The selfie camera is 16 megapixels. I haven't tested the camera yet, so I cannot say anything about the photo's quality. However, I have a great hopes for it. The link to camera test will be in the description. The battery has a capacity of 4000 mA. It is not too big, but due to HD screen and energy-efficient processor, the battery life should be ok. However, I am a little confused about 10 watts power adapter. The full battery charge will take a long time. We will check the battery life and charging speed in the next video. Elephant E10 has dual SIM and the phone supports global LTE bands. I am very glad that smartphone has NFC. You can use a mobile device for contactless payments. Do you use your phone for contactless payments? Write in the comments below. Elephant E10 has a single speaker at the bottom. The sound is nothing special, but it is quite loud.
The smartphone doesn't have 3.5 mm audio jack, but I don't think it is a big problem. Today most people are using wireless Bluetooth earbuds. So it was unboxing and first look at Elephant E10. This is a budget smartphone, only $120, but it looks very nice. I like the colors combination. However, the phone has entry-level chipset, and it has only 98,000 points in n I am wondering if I could play heavy games on this phone, such as PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty. Also, I will test quad camera and show you real sample photos and video on the next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please write in the comments below. See you soon.